Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's Tuesday, and it's my birthday. Hey, Penny, you loving your window? I love you have a window. Hi, girls. Penny, it's our birthday. It's our birthday. And you, my friend, are getting a blanket. Here. So today's my birthday. I am 51 years old, 51. You're old, Laura, why are you so happy? I'm happy because today is the day that God has reminded me to cherish myself, to love myself, to be glad that I'm here, to recognize that I'm my own person, that I'm here on an individual journey of amazing, of amazing experiences and amazing things. Like I thought you were already 51. I thought you were 52. No. Yeah, well now I'm not happy. <laughs> I thought I was older than I am. Just joking. No, I'm 51 today, only 51. It's only when you're able to look back over the years of your life that you can see all the amazing twists and turns and craziness like all the things that you felt are heartbreaks back then are actual crazy twists and turns like it's incredible i'm so happy that i am where i am i hope to never leave this happy place you need to undo the one back yeah she poops on her blanket she's just such a dirty I'm girl i know oh, my horse is dirty my horse is dirty penny come on now like that is just gross i swear she lays down and poops while she's laying. I swear she doesn't, I swear she lays down all night. Before my birthday, I got a lot of horse poop. A lot of horse poop. What are you thinking, Penny? Today is supposed to be a day of rest. I do not know how you get horse poop off your blankets, but this is how I do it. Definitely not with my hands. This is our spare blanket, Penny. This is the blanket that we have to keep in case. Oh my goodness, my dirty girl. So this year for my birthday, I got a horse. Hey Gabby, what's today? Your birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks Gabby. Can you take your buns now? Okay, so this year I got a horse. I have never, I would never spend money on myself like that for my birthday, ever. Never, I would just never do it because that's just not me. But this year I got a horse and I love her and I'm so grateful and I think that this is the best birthday gift I've ever been given. Wow, what a good girl. So um, for my birthday I also got a new horse blanket. Oh, I hope it fits. It looks like it could. I got this beautiful navy and pink horse blanket. Looks a lot better. She's 76, you guys. A year ago, I, I mean, two years ago, I would have been dreading trying to figure out what size she is in blankets. This time, I'm like, yeah, I bet you she's a 76. Compared her to some other horses, and I know what their sizes are. This looks so good, Pen. It's a long. You think it's a little long? Oh, that's okay. Better than the 78 she was wearing. Yeah, she could probably wear a fin size. Have you a fin size? No, Anyways. No, I know, but I mean, he's got a fatter, wider body than her. Basically, you guys just got to witness a mini miracle. A mini miracle is that Penny's never wore blankets before in her life. In her entire life. Why are you pulling it up? Because it should fit like that. It's still a bit big. Yeah. Never ever wore them until we got her and we started putting blankets on her. And when I started putting blankets on her, she thought it was a... a um, snake she freaked out so bad and today Sophie just walked in through this blanket over her back and how did she react not at all she was like yes give me the nice blanket Penny loves her a blanket she's a girl after my own heart she likes cozy things you can eat again now all right do it up and let's see how it fits looking pretty I think it's too tight on her I think you have it too tight on her neck Enjoy this blanket right now, you guys, because by tomorrow morning it will be covered in poo. Covered in poo. Unless she likes it. She does like it, but she will make a big mess. I actually can't believe how small of a size she actually needs. It is definitely a bit big, but sometimes I think big is nice because if it gets really cold, you can lay your blankets underneath it. Definitely better than the last it one is. you had. Yeah. It's, just it's not bad. It could be just the... the a little bit. Yeah, a little bit long. And the tail flap I mean she's gonna have a dirty tail flap or she's going to have a really nice dry bum this winter do you remember the year that we fixed Texas Texas tail flap and it so tech a couple of years ago Tex had a rip in his tail flap 
and it just served as like a poop bag. So it was a bag with a rip in it behind him. And every time he pooped, the, the flap would fill up with, with poop. So he had a rip on the underside of this thing, and it was long, and it hung down underneath here, kind of underneath his bum. So every time he would poop, this thing would fill up. I think we should sew this more. Make it like a nice flap. No. This would fill up with poop. And then so one day we were at the barn and I'm like, I'm fixing my horse's blanket. Why don't I fix your horse's blanket? And I went to fix it and the whole entire tail flap was full of poop. I'm like, yeah, I'm not fixing that. That was disgusting. But anyway, welcome mm -hmm. to today. I can't wait to show you all the things that we have planned today. But Penny won't rip it though. I feel like she likes blankets. Yeah, and it's not her that rips it. It's not like Storm. It's not Storm that rips his blanket. It's all his friends that pull on him. you guys miracle number two on my birthday so something you guys haven't seen is that penny is terrified of sticks sticks and crops and brooms and rakes terrified of them i was cleaning the arena and she just walked in all of a sudden she's like oh there's my girl and she came walking right up to me and she was wondering if i had treats and i said no i'm not doing treats in the arena anymore she still came up to me and she looked at my stick and was ready to spook it. And I said, it's just my broom. If you want, it's just my rake. If you want to see it, you can see it. I slowly put it to her nose and she started nibbling it. Like, that's massive improvement. Like, my girl is settling in, you guys. She's going for water. She's going for water. She's a drinker. Doesn't mean that she has Cushing's disease. It means that she likes to drink. Means that she's a good drinker. We've had horses. And he drank like a whole bucket every night. And Stella never drank, and I was so worried about her. It was terrible. We even gave her electrolytes. Yeah, we even gave her electrolytes. But Penny, thankfully, she's a good drinker. She's she's such a me girl. She's just like me. See if she comes to you. What a good girl. I feel lucky. What a good girl. I mean, you guys are all probably like, so who cares? Your horse walks up to you. but I, And she probably did that at her old house. But remember, when she came here, she was scared and nervous and didn't really love us that much. Hi. And she doesn't really love Cappy. <laughs> be nice, because she's going to be nice to you now. Put your hand out and see, let her come to you. It's just because you were moving to her too fast. We found Ollie, he's in the, in the roof. But isn't it crazy how when we see animals that are quirky and weird and goofy and do crazy things, we love them. Like those, the most spirited animals are the ones we love the best. Like we love animals that show us who, how they're different from everybody else. But yet, at the same time, we treat ourselves badly if we act differently from others. We always strive to be the same as everyone and to follow the same rules as everyone. So, but I promise you that when you go out there and you be yourself and you be quirky and you be weird and you be different, it, draw, it will draw so many different people to your life. It will draw all the people that are meant for you in your life. All the people who are like-minded to you in your life. And there's nothing like it. Hold on. If you feel like you're being spied upon, it's because Hold on. you may be. People use the expression, if I was, I wish I could be a fly on the wall, but really you just need to be a cat in the rafters. 
It's happening, you guys. She has been standing here for five minutes, just taking in all the noise and the drama and the stress of kids and dogs and cats and all of it. This is what she needed. This is what... This is what she needed in life. She needed to know that it can be crazy and she can still be safe. People often tell me that we should be quiet around her and we should be careful and not move too fast, but it's these things that she needs to realize that it's okay. That's why I always say kids make the best socializers. All right, so school is mostly done and we're headed out. We have some running around to do. Uh, what do you bring into the barn, Gabby? Uh, this stuff. Chaff. Chaff. I'm taking it to the barn. I'm sure it's landing on the floor right now. No, the hole's right there. But there's another hole there. There's no hole. Mm. Alright, so anyway, she's taking this to Chino because if you guys remember, that was his favorite stuff. He used to follow me around because this stuff was in the bottom of the bucket. Mm -hmm. So he used to follow me around when I put out hay. Yep. Or anybody. I'm ready. Yep. A nice big juicy apple. Okay, let's go because we got to get back so I can enjoy my horse. See Penny down there in the field looking out into the arena thinking, I wish somebody would ride me even though there's snow all over the ground. We'll just you wait, Penny. We're going to have our very first winter ride, you and I, when we get back. Anyway, we have a bunch of stuff to do. Um, at our tech store, I asked her to order me some stuff. And she texted me this morning, just now, actually, and said, hey, your stuff's in. And we have a sale right now with no tax. So we're going to go there, pick up the stuff that I need. Then we're going to go and take Storm his warmer blanket because it'd be chilly. It is so chilly. But that is the thing that's happening right now. Today and tomorrow, tonight are going to be freezing. And then tomorrow, it's going to skyrocket again. And we're going to be warm again. So we're going to be going tomorrow, taking off the blankets. That's why I hate blanketing horses. Because it controls your life. Anyway, let's go to the text. I want this to bit. To bring this this bit is pulling. Is calling Gabby's name. I kind of want to try that on try. Too. Tell Brandon to bring that. Does Brandon have that? Yeah. Hey, it's comment been before. Comment below if you have this bit. It's only seventy bucks. Send it to us. And if you like it. Holly, back up. Back up. Come here. <laughs> she doesn't stop backing up until you tell her. Okay, so Gabby really. You need reins to go with it. Uh huh. Mine don't go with it. I need reins to go with mine. Oh good lord. Mine okay, so what's happening is that fitting. on the girls' Christmas list are new bridles, and the reason they want new bridles is because they like these ones that have one piece, which I agree. This, this is, is the kind I got. This, not th this is the kind that you want. Just without a flash. Yeah. I imagine. No, I don't think that matches. Ask Gabby to help you. Um, so essentially, Gabby wanted this bridle. I think this is the bridle. So she wanted this bridle, and it is three hundred and thirty-four dollars. Okay, found the one behind it, the darker one. Yeah, she wanted the darker one though. All right. But then today she found this bridle, and it is two hundred and forty-nine. This is gonna have to match good enough. Is it? I don't think it matches. It's gonna have to match good enough, is what I said. Because there's no colors that match. Do you like these rubber things? Yeah, I love them. Oh, they're I love extra them too. in the mm -hmm. rain. I know. And especially if you have the, um, have the, there you go. All right, so let's see how much those are. Get Sophie. I'm starting to have anxiety about how much Christmas costs every year. Christmas is expensive, guys. What size is some spit? Five or five and a half? Five. That's five point five, so five and a half. You want to try that on Storm? No, they fit the same bit size. You know the Storm? This is a five. All right, so this is what I came for, this big bucket. I couldn't video very much because I was talking. I'm the bane of Gabby's existence. Never stop talking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, we got two. Two of those big buckets, one for Penny, who shares it with Willow, and one for Storm. Uh, they last us about two months, which I love. So we're gonna drop one off at our house and one off at the Storm. And then I got, hey, get out of that bag. 
Then I ended up getting some stuff for the girls for Christmas. Does it bother you when you know what I bought you for Christmas? No. Do you prefer no, other than when you want it now? Yeah, other than the fact that they know it's coming and they want it now. That's the hardest part. But yeah, sometimes like yesterday I didn't I wasn't happy that they came shopping with me but then I got so much stuff off my list and they were able to help me with it it was beneficial all right we are here to give stormy boy a warmer blanket because we're those kind of people we don't want our boy to fro freeze even though he's been freezing for a day <laughs> all right let's go find our boys so remember before when I said that we're gonna be, oh my gosh, who's that laying down? Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh, yeah, we found them. Oh, they're over at the other place. All right, this is a lot harder than you would think. Mud and snow. It's like slippery mud. Oh, storm's laying down. I hope he's okay. They're like, there's something new happening. Gabby's got a bucket. Why would you be bringing me a bucket? Ah. Ah. Uh oh. You do not bring a bucket into the field. <laughs> that is one thing for sure. Oh, look it. This is the first time we've ever been like this far. I don't know. He lays down every day at around one. He's fine. It's true. They have all this to themselves. <laughs> yeah, they have all five of our horses have this all to themselves. Apparently, I have a really hard time. Did you smack him into your head? No, Tex smacked me. <laughs> Tex smacked you in the head? No. No. Wow, you this climb is. Climb on him while he's laying down. He will get up. Yeah. Trust me. I speak from experience. There's like man. Look at him rocking back and forth though. He's just moving his neck. That's what happens when they move their neck. Your weight shifts, and he's breathing. Put your hand down, Chino and Finn, and make sure they're warm. They're not too hot. Hey, it's cold. I'm frozen. And it's only gonna get colder tonight. It's like minus three. It's nothing. I heard on the radio, minus three something. It's like we're in a manger, you guys. We're making her own Christmas nativity scene. Gabby surrounded by the horses. And me with Vinny. And Toby with Vinny. And Tex with Chino's... <laughs> Chino's treat. Hey, don't you dare. Did you feel a storm, Finn? Oh gosh. This is where it gets bad. Okay, I don't know. I feel worried. No, they're all BFF. No, about him. We brought food in the field and he didn't even move. Oh, Storm, no, I gave him some. He didn't like it. Hey, don't you dare. I also uh -oh. gave Storm a treat. Yeah. I just realized don't I'm standing dare. behind him. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to get up. Fine, he says. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Up. What is wrong with you? <laughs> like, I'm gonna be nice to you until you get up. All right, let's put it on his new blanket. Same thing, mom. Now yeah, everyone's pushing everyone away. Uh oh, uh oh, don't let him go. Hey, like this. Hey, listen, I do not like horses surrounding me. No offense, but. <laughs> She know. She know. Let me see if you're nice and warm inside there. Or too warm. Finn could be warmer, but Oh yeah, like... you're not hot at all. I'm gonna go with him. The new blanket. Chino burns the most fat. That moment you step in a big pile of horse poop is not my favorite moment. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um Hey, Oakley, <laughs> are you looking for a warm blanket too? Ew, look what Oakley did to me. What? He rubbed his face. I'm not saving you today, Finn. Yeah, I'm not, I'm wearing my... Hey, you come back here. Uh-oh, we got a naked boy. A naked boy running free. <laughs> How'd you know? Texas checking out the old blanket. 
I can't believe this is like my brand new coat that was not for the barn on my birthday and I got goobered on. You guys are brothers. Wow. Looking handsome. It's the brand Fiona told us not to buy. Think she'll be mad? Yeah, I like it. Oh, it seems small. No. Or are no, you? I just put it on Isn't that the kind oh, of blanket okay. Finn has? Yeah, I like Finn's blanket. This part, it goes so, like halfway up the neck. So necks are blanket. Okay. Blankets with necks are like annoying because when it gets really bad weather, you have to come out and put the neck on, then you have to take the neck off. Like the neck piece is a hard thing to deal with all the time. But Finny over there, he's got a three-quarter. Oh. Oakley, you are mean today. See, Finn's got one that's got a higher up neck. Keeps his neck warmer, but we don't have to put on a uh, neck piece, and I like that. Yeah. Because look at Chini over there. His neck be getting cold. But and then Chino has like the... Yeah, Chino will have the neck the piece. Yeah. I like them because they're warm. Hey, Finn. Hi, handsome. See, <laughs> this is the day it's my birthday, so we came to the barn just to hang out with you. And make the day nice for you without working you. What do you think about that? He's liking me a lot better though because I'm, I've been bringing him treats and not riding him. Yeah, and you've been practicing going really much slower and not pushing him, huh? Oh, he doesn't like. Tex he likes. He's over there eating snow. <laughs> Look at this hole. Look at Tex eating this snow. is what happens when horses. Look at Tex eating snow. This is how you, your horse puts his head in the round bale. But yeah, you know what? Horses eat snow. Why do horses eat snow? Because then it's they don't water. have to go. Yeah, they don't have to walk all the way back. Don't eat yellow snow, kids. Don't eat yellow snow. Think, Mom, look. And especially don't, don't eat brown snow. Okay? Don't eat brown snow. Oh, brown snow has been pooped on. <laughs> or mine. You're a genius, Sophie. All right, this is it. See, this is Got a nice new blanket, Stormy Boy. Sounds like mine. This is exactly what I didn't want. That's cute, actually. Oh, I just come back tomorrow and it's ripped. So Gabby didn't really want a black blanket for a black horse, but you guys know Storm's rough on his blankets. So we bought him a cheaper one. Yeah, this was this was expensive. It was two hundred and something, two twenty nine or two ninety nine, two ninety nine. How much was it? I don't know. It was expensive. A big man. He likes tags better than a uh, hay. Do you think that's too tight on his neck still? No, no, fine. Alright. Black blanket for a black horse. Yay. So, uh, yeah. it is the time of the day where it's my turn to ride my horse and I'm going home. They're all I'm, eating snow. I don't even know if I'm allowed to ride in the snow. Like, I don't even know if there's like dangers that yeah, you have to, to ride in the snow. be careful yeah. about. Yeah. It's not even deep. Right, we're headed back, guys. That moment that we come into the barn and there's a cat sitting there. And Gabby's know. like, oh my gosh. It's a cat. Why do his eyes? <laughs> see those his ears? His eyes match his um, fur. Oh, do you see him pinning his ears at you? Be nice to me, Gabby. I am nice. I don't know. Okay, this. Cats versus dogs on how you pick them up. Dogs stay straight. Cats limp. are like a limp noodle. <laughs> he is so fat. Is he? Feel him. Oh, good boy. Are you eating lots? Yeah, he's a pig. Yeah. Also, cats stretch. All Sophie's pets are pigs. Wait, cats stretch. Okay, I don't think he likes that. Wait. <laughs> you guys see? He's stretching longer. <laughs> That's just craziness. All right, we are here at the barn. So the girls go, oh my heck. Hi, Gracie. Just wait, let's see what happens. I don't have any treats. Let's see. Hi, Gracie. Oh, I Hi, Grace. <laughs> I know, you got him. Oh, here she comes. See, I don't even have to call her. Hi, Penny. Penny Poo. Penny Pickle. Penny, you pooed your pants. Hey, Penny. I hate pickles. I love, I love pickles. Be nice. Well, Be nice. Be nice. I only like nice girls. I don't even know what <laughs> That's how lazy she is, though. You coming in? Is she cold? Does she look cold? She wasn't even near you. Oh, no, but she looks like she was shivering. No. Gracie. All right, so I got my So I told the girls this morning that they had to clean the barn, and they cleaned it. Like one thing you guys might not know is that they suck at sweeping. But Gabby swept, and it be looking nice. 
All right, so this is what I have planned for my birthday. This is my, this is the part of the day that is my birthday celebration. First of all, you guys should know that I love driving to the tax store. I love shopping at the tax He's store. Hurry. Great birthday. I haven't held my cat in like a year. Oh, and he loves you. Look at him. You don't make him swing. Hello, handsome. I made him stretch. Stretch. Yeah. What don't shirt make... do you have on underneath your vest? Oh, Tommy I love it. Figure. Tommy Hilfiger, like it's a nice one. Okay, so basically, um, I got to drive, I got to drive to the, to the tax store, that was so super fun. Got to drive to the barn. I actually like going to the barn and seeing the boys, especially when we don't have to stay too long in the freezing cold because I hate the cold. So that was really fun for me. We hit school, that was okay. Oh. Hello, Benny Pickle. I want to get my mask, my nose is cold. You coming it's in? It's a lot colder now. Yeah, it's freezing. We're gonna freeze riding you, but come on. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Let's go Good night, Penny. Good night, Penny Pickle. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even take off your halter yet. Silly Laura. Cake! Uh, Look at has pink Happy on birthday, it. Mom. My tastes are changing, you guys. I used to be a vanilla girl. Oh, I see. Now I, I'm I all chocolate. I'm so We each vanilla. get one of the lines with a swirl. <laughs> we each, so that's the slice. I need a candle. I believe that birthday wishes come true. It is your one time of year to make your best wish and for it to come true. So even though I'm 51 this year, I still have a candle every year so that I can do my birthday wish. Sophie just asked you, what did you wish for? And Gabby's like, for everybody to die. I think I know what you wished for. Mmm, that looks Shoot. yum. So you eat the stuff all around the sides. Mm, okay, let's have cake. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way